Hello and welcome to another edition of Electric TV made possible by the Powering America NECA IBEW team. This country's finest electricians and technicians. I'm your host Dominic Giratano. This September the 18th is the home opener for the Minnesota Vikings. On that day they will welcome in the Green Bay Packers and christen a new journey for a new stadium unlike any before it. We were there as construction's final touches were being made. From a bird's eye view, it looks like the structure true to the mascot of its main tenant, a huge ship seeming sailing straight into the heart of downtown Minneapolis. The billion dollar U.S. Bank Stadium is the new home of the Minnesota Vikings. It's the largest construction project in the history of the state. And this latest cathedral to that all-consuming American religion known as NFL football. Building structures where people gather to watch sports has been a core specialty of the Powering America team across the country for years. And this certainly was the case with this one. This is our 24th stadium that we've done with our technologies and our electrical division. This job is on time, under budget. The men and women that are working out here, look at this place. They are absolutely fantastic, these people that are out here. Proud, proud that we built this facility and that this is gonna be the star of the country for a while. The list of firsts that makes U.S. Bank Stadium unique is a long one. The most obvious is the feeling you get inside. You feel like you're outdoors, but you aren't. Having the best of both worlds is made possible because of a fixed roof design that is part hard deck, part translucent polymer. And when you add in an entire side of the stadium that's glass with a stunning view of downtown, well, it leaves those old, cavernous, retractable roof stadiums behind. Other firsts are less obvious, a high-tech Wi-Fi system that can accommodate more than 30,000 simultaneous users. An original installation of an LED sports lighting system that may look like other lights at a glance, but dramatically improves the quality and versatility of the light while it saves energy. You see sun, you see clouds, you'll see snow, you'll see rain. It, it's just amazing, and that's what makes us feel like we're sitting outside. The other feature that definitely will give us that indoor-outdoor feeling is that large panel of glass where you have that incredible view to the downtown. In addition, you've got those five doors. They're 100 feet tall, and each one of them are 50 feet wide. The LED lights that span the upper reaches of the stadium weigh 37% less than their predecessors and are 75% more energy efficient. They can be adjusted according to the amount of sunlight that enters the stadium and can change color temperature during different events. Another set of LED lights shine upward to the roof and can change colors, giving the stadium a truly contemporary look designed by the architects. From the field, the concourses, to the accent lights, everything is LED. This whole stadium is an LED lighted system, so it's going to save both our energy level and also it's going to, uh, I guess they want to change the light bulb for 30 years. <laughs> of course, no modern stadium would be complete without a couple of huge scoreboards showing images better than your big screen at home ever will and speakers as large as school buses to make sure you're totally immersed in the action. All of this was made possible by three electrical services. There are 12,000 amps and almost 14 kilovolts each, equating to 18 billion watts of power. That's enough for 165,000 homes. Handling the installation and connecting everything together with more than two miles of cable trays the skilled men and women of the Powering America NECA IBEW team. More than 400 of them, in fact. So when we did find out that we did win this, awarded this project, we sat down with uh, Minneapolis NECA and Local 292 to talk about job goals. Some of the scope of work that we have is installing and purchasing the generators. We are wiring the um, big five operable doors. We are doing the main concourse concessions along with the upper concourse. We're doing the Vikings Club and we're also doing the Purple Club and we'll be doing the West Plaza wiring all the exterior items out there. It's very exciting to be able to be a part of a project like this. We have a great relationship with Nika. We, we understand that to get these jobs done, 
the, as good as they are, we have to work together with our contractors. We can provide the greatest help in the world, and they run these jobs so well that the combination is fantastic. The local union here has about 3,000 men and women that uh, we could pull from. The beauty of it is, with that many people working, we were able to man not only this job, but all the other jobs in the area. Better trained, better educated. I don't, I don't think this stadium could have been built any other way. Whether it's high profile or not, NECA contractors and IBEW craftsmen and women know that with any construction job comes a financial commitment from the owner. And the road to our continued success and leadership in the industry is paved with each and every member walking through that construction gate. If we didn't come in on schedule, it was gonna cost us millions of dollars for every day that we were late. The fact that Nika and all the IBW workers can do the work at the quality and level that they do keeps that scheduled. The work ethic is excellent here. We had horrible conditions in the beginning. It was all, you know, it was freezing cold and it was all decks and columns and we were out in the cold and in the rain and everybody just kept on, 100%. Parsons Electric, Build 23, we were involved in every single concrete pour out here, every slab on deck, every column. We roughed in and finished all these areas of the stadium and never once did we hold up Mortensen Construction. Everybody that I've worked with comes in with a let's get as much done as we can attitude and so it makes it really easy when you're working with so many positive people um, to have a really good environment, it's been great. U.S. Bank Stadium is a win for NECA and the IBEW. It's a win for the Minnesota Stadium Authority. And it's a win for local businesses that will pay dividends for years to come. We've had a major economic impact on the surrounding area. Over a billion dollars in private economic development is already underway in two blocks surrounding the stadium. With all the work done, all eyes now turn to the Vikings and what happens down on the new state-of-the-art field. Hopefully the Vikings are up for the challenge too, just like we were for building it for them. No pressure, right? Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Electric TV. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and on Twitter for behind-the-scenes extras and industry information. For everyone here at Electric TV and the Powering America team, I'm Dominic Gerritano. We'll see you next time.